Hey guys, hope you guys are having a lacquer day and a beautiful start on this year of the 2023, 1st of January. Um, it's nice and overcast here up in Gauteng, and I'm hoping today's just going to be a lacquer day. Now I wanted to show you guys this now, obviously you guys have all seen these caps and that. What I like about this one is that this one is monogrammed for Centurion. Um, when I did the Tigo, um, uh, Tigo 8 Executive, they gave me one, uh, two of these actually, and I like it. I think most of them on just the normal cherry, but this one says monogram for Centurion. Okay, now what I want to quickly show you guys is that we took a trip down to Durban, as you would have seen in the previous video. Now, here are some of the slips. So I can show you guys. Here are some of the slips I can show you guys if you want to keep them out or if you were not sure. So let me just show you here. Now, quickly before I do that, I just want to do a quick thing. Okay, so you would have seen in the previous video that I posted on the 24th of December, just before the day we actually left and shot down to Durban. Actually, it's a place between Scottsboro and Hibberdeen. It's called Mtualuma, if I am said that correctly. Very nice little small village, three, four hundred people, um, some real nice rock pools. So it's very family orientated. If you want to do surfing and bodyboarding, you need to move to a different place. There's a wonderful Indian restaurant down there, which, oh, their bunny chows were awesome, as well as their beef curry. Um, okay, I'm getting off the point now. Anyway, so you would have seen the, in the video that I had done with my wife next to me, um, my her nephew, myself, which I'm not a small guy. He's about 60-odd kilos. My wife's about the same. So, I mean, I'm just going to call it about, you know, an extra 280 kilos. Plus all the stuff we had in the back, we had the bottles of water, because apparently the water there is not very good because of the whole sewage system that they've now got problems with. And the, apparently there was an E. coli outbreak, which I didn't know about until we left. Um, but yeah, all the stuff in the boots, I mean, it was, it was quite a bit of extra weight. I actually could feel it sometimes on the uphill. I could feel it, that she, she was pulling, but she just needed that little bit extra. Um, that being said, it was a wonderful drive down. We didn't have many issues. When we left, um, I made sure the tank was full, full, full. We drove at three o'clock in the morning. So we didn't use the aircon, but I used the cruise control. When we hit Harrismith, had our breakfast there, which is a, always a nice place to stop. From there, it started getting a bit warmer and that's when we put the aircon on. So we had the aircon on its auto with the cruise control on uh, cruise control on with it slotted into the manual position. Well, manual, so I could change gears if I wanted to. Especially when you start hitting some of the uphills and then it starts wanting to drop the revs instead of you it dropping by itself and you know shooting you to fourth gear and your revs sitting at 5000 RPM. Um, I was doing it manually, so it would sit at eighth gear or not seventh gear. Um, and for really, really steep ones, um, down to fifth, but that's happened, I think, once. Um, the rest of the time, it was 8th and 9th gear, um, most of the way. She did quite well. You guys would have seen the fuel consumption. I think it was sitting at a little over 14, if I remember correctly. Don't shoot me. It was a week ago. Um, I haven't reset any counters. I haven't reset anything. Um, we've put in petrol when we were down there, put in petrol on our way back up here. Um, I honestly wish a bigger tank would have been nice. Um, just, you know, that extra 10 liters, if you guys could just 10 liters, just a little bit, but it makes a massive difference. Um, we filled up in Scottsboro, drove up and I had to fill up again in Edenvale. But now that being said, on the way back, obviously we didn't have as much, but the boot was still full. Um, we drove with the aircon on the whole time and cruise control, same story on the way up. Uh... Yeah, it was actually quite quite warm yesterday, quite hot actually when we left. So aircon was basically on its maximum with the cruise control, same story, eight and nine. Stuck to the speed limits. So in 80 zones I was doing 80, in 100 zones I was doing 100, and in 120 zones I was doing 115. I'd rather do it because I've seen with the cruise control, sometimes if you go on a downhill, if you're going on an uphill, it tries to keep the revs high, obviously. But as soon as you hit a level and then down downhill, the revs start picking up too much, and um, your speed image, uh, your speed actually jumps quite a bit. 
I've had it on some occasions where the speed itself has jumped up to about 10 kilo, uh, ten kilometers. Now, if you have it set at 120 and it jumps up, you could be sitting at 130, 131. And there's a chance to you getting a ticket, especially at 131. Um, so I'd rather just avoid that. So it was a lack of drive. Um, no issues. I mean, the car was sound. It's, you know, pleasant. <clears throat> Even after doing it, and I was checking it out, it's 747 kilos yesterday, just that alone. Um, we all ugh, pleasant, you know, we got out, we did stretch our legs in Harrismith, grab a little quick something to eat. We didn't stay long. Um, we wanted to get home because we had to drop off some keys in Pretoria North. Um, so we went to Pretoria North and then shot back home uh, to Centurion to... Uh, uh, relax and all that. So we got home yesterday at about five o'clock after the extra drive. So it was quite pleasant from eight to five driving in the car, no back ache. Um, we were obviously tired from the long drive, but oh, you know what? It was a long day. It was a long week. Um, it was pleasant. So I'm going to quickly show you on this cluster what the kilos and all that are. Bearing in mind, I've done a quick calculation with the petrol I'm putting down there, the petrol on the way there, and the petrol back. I've used about just over 3,000 Rand. It was 3,100 Rand or something like that. Um, the price I wish, obviously, the petrol would go down. But bearing that in mind, with that amount of cash, I've done... We can move this down here. As you can see, I've done 1,561 kilometers, uh, 67 kilometers. So it's about 2 Rand a kilometer, which is... Actually not bad for some of the cars nowadays. I mean, I've known cars where it's five rand a kilometer. Now, bearing in mind that is only because of the price of the petrol. Obviously, it will, if it was a lower price, it would be cheaper. Now, the fuel consumption, this is the combined, there and back. So, sitting at 13.2 kilometers there and back, fully loaded. She does pretty well. And then, obviously, I've still got a bit of petrol left. And you can see that's what's left in the tank. Um... Yeah, I just thought uh, you guys would see this and just realize that, you know what, this, even though it's a little car, it's a little cheap car that is awesome. Um, if you are planning on buying one of these, do yourself a favor, go take it for a test drive. Nothing else beats this car, like I've said so many times. And I've actually seen more and more people stating now that, uh, you know what, they're doing long trips and um, their fuel consumption is getting better and better as they're doing the trips. And it's kind of one of the things that I've been trying to explain to people. Um, I know there's been debates about it, and I still do a vi did a video about the debating on the fuel consumption. Now, if you've got a car that's half fuel consumption, you know, you know, you're gonna, you're always gonna complain. If you've got a car that's medium, like what this car is, I reckon it does well. Yes, you can. You do get cars that are lower fuel consumption. By all means, go get yourself a little diesel with no features. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, look at the XUV 300 or the, um, what's it, the Renault Duster. The Renault Duster is 400 grand. Has none of these options. So I'd rather pay that little bit extra for petrol, but have perfect comfort. Anyway, I'm going to call off the video for then. Have a lucky day. Cheers, guys.